All right, so what we're going to do in this screencast is we're going to use a kimono to create a Jekyll powered site uh, like this one that displays data from Hacker News. So this is a bit of a mouthful, but the techniques you will learn in this screencast will be about using kimono to um, do what they say, like turn websites into structured APIs. So let's say uh, Hacker News could be turned into a structured API. You will learn about um, the JSON to YAML online converter and you will learn about the data object in Jekyll. So um, let's just uh, start from scratch and let's just assume that you know how to set up Jekyll and you have um, Jekyll running. So let's say you have nothing going and in your data folder is also empty. So there is just um, your default uh, Jekyll setup. There is not even a, a CSS file or nothing. There is just a default Jekyll file. What I did though, and I'm not gonna delete it for now, is just include Twitter bootstrap so uh, the page looks a bit better. So how do we get started with our um, getting the data from Hacker News? This is by signing up to Kimono, which is in beta, and then you will have an account. And one of the things they will teach you is uh, that you should have a Kimonify, like here, Kimonify bookmarklet um, in Chrome. Uh, I use Chrome, but I imagine it will work in many browsers. And the next thing you'll have to do is uh, go to a site which has structured data um, like Hacker News and then press Kimonify. And the next steps are a bit tedious, but much less tedious than writing a data scraper. So let's say uh, you want to get a list of all the news at Hacker News. You press the Kimonify uh, bookmarklet and then um, you, it will ask you to um, add the first property. So the first property could be something like title um, and the title is here, Gmail was down, it's a sample. And then you will see that all these um, highlights show up. So you can press uh, the check mark icon here and um, it will recognize uh, similar items on the page. So we have the title here and let's add some more properties like um, position And then um, let's add a new one, uh, points, but here it detects this uh, title, so we want to uh, delete that. So just the points, uh, points, and then uh, maybe we also want to have the number of comments there. So uh, let's go for that, uh, comments, number. Right, and then also maybe the uh, submitter, uh, which in this case is a weird name, Diogas or something. So let's um, select not this, but this. Um, and then we kind of have our uh, structured uh, data. So we have submitter, we have the comments number, we have uh, the amount of points, we have uh, the ranking, and then um, we also have um, the title of the post. So maybe we can get the source um, file, but we will uh, just leave that for now and uh, go to the data model view. And in this view, you will see that um, there is a, an example of what, you, what your data is modeled like. So that looks all right. Uh, it's called collection one. Uh, it doesn't matter because we're gonna delete it in the next step. And then um, look at the raw data view and there you will see a JSON file of all, all the comments that's in there. So what you can do is now uh, select all text and then copy and paste it to this uh, online JSON to YAML converter. So if you copy and paste it, then convert it, you will get YAML, which you can then use in our Jekyll site. So uh, let's make a data folder data and then add a new file within this folder 
entries dot yaml. So this new, new file co consists of some structured data, and now we're gonna um, make it so we can access this data with Jekyll. Um, so what you want to do is maybe um, delete the collection name since we're not gonna need that, um, and then uh, properly indent the YAML file. And what's uh, interesting to know, maybe we can copy paste one of these uh, to start building our markup. So what you want to do is um, access the data within this uh, entries object. So within your um, index, we now have hello world. And if we look at the Jekyll site, it just reads hello world. So let's give it a title, hacker news, and then start uh, to build our structure. So we um, can kind of uh, get to this data. So first, um, this is just for reference. Maybe uh, I'll put it in a, a pre-tag so it looks um, all right. So this is just our reference data. This is what we want to use uh, to um, get our data. And we're going to use something, um, a for loop in Jekyll, uh, but we're not going to do it with uh, numbers, but we're going to do it for entry inside dot data dot entry so this is the syntax that you will use um, to access uh, stuff within data so let's say we just type something hello here normally it should now display 30 uh, times hello so that's all right that's working and now we can access the data uh, for example entry dot title dot text um, and this data um, shows up nice so Let's uh, wrap um, a, the correct link around it, entry.title.href and maybe put this in like a block level stuff, like a paragraph uh, block level tag and now we're already seeing the seeds of, um, of our data showing up. So basically this is the gist of it, this is how it works, uh, now we can start to uh, make it bigger and better to get to that end result which was where I was in the beginning of the video um, 